find the hypotenuse of the triangle that has legs of 12 and 16. So since we're looking at uh, hypotenuse with two legs, we're going to be using the Pythagorean theorem here. And the two values that they gave us are legs. They said we got legs of 12, so I'll make the first one 12. And then the second one is 16 is what it says, so I'll make the second one 16. We are searching for the hypotenuse. So that means I've got 12 to the power of 2, 16 to the power of 2. We'll add those together, and then we will have a hypotenuse to the power of 2 as well. So use a calculator for these, so 12 to the power of 2. 12 times 12 is 144, and then 16 to the power of 2 is 256. So we're going to add those together, and that would be the same as taking the hypotenuse to the power of 2. So we'll go and combine these. 144 plus 256 is 400. Now again, that's the hypotenuse to the power of 2. What I'd like here is just the hypotenuse, not the power of 2. So to undo that power of 2, I'm going to take the hypotenuse to the power of 2 and square root it. But if I square root one side of the equation, i got to do the other side as well. And 400 square rooted is 20. That's it. Here's our objectives. I can copy line segments and angles with math tools. I can bisect angles, make perpendicular and parallel lines and shapes with math tools. And then I can inscribe regular shapes in circles with math tools. So it's not just three objectives, it's really several inside three. Take a minute, copy this down, then we'll get started. So these would be some math tools you really could use for this stuff. Uh, compasses where you make circles. And a protractor, I mean, you can find angles and make angles with these, but really today, if we were to use them, we would only be using the straight edge part of that protractor right there. Now on the assignment, it's going to give you these options in order to make these. So technically, we don't need these tools for the assignment, but they can still be helpful. So the compass first is to make circles. And then if you need either a segment, ray, or a line, we can make those. But the thing about segments is that a segment is just only a part of a line, so it has two endpoints. So a segment would be just kind of a part of a line. Now you notice the line that I've drawn, which isn't straight, but I did my best. You could put points at the end like this, just to show that they don't go on forever. If you ever see an arrow at the end of the line, it should indicate that that line is going to go on forever in that pattern. A ray is going to have one end point, and then one part of the line goes forever. In fact, I'm not going to call it um, an end point. I'm going to say it has a starting point. and then uh, an arrow on the other side. So if you wanted a ray for some reason, which we will on the assignment, and you'd have a line, you'd have an arrow on one end, but it has to have, it has to have a starting point somewhere, like this one. Now a line is, well, it's not like that it's a double-sided ray, it's just that it's an individual line that goes forever in both directions, so we have arrows on both sides there. So two arrows, meaning that, again, the arrows tell us that two, two parts of the line are going to go on forever and ever in those directions. So we're going to need those for the assignment. Now, before we get started, though, an interesting thing about circles, which we need to understand, is that if you have a circle like this, at the middle of that circle, or center of the circle, right there, is the center. Okay, now, the reason why we use a compass in order to make circles is because it, it gives us a unique situation because from that center, you can draw a distance from the center to any part of the outside of the circle. That's what we call a radius. Radius. Now, that purple line that I've drawn is a radius, but it's not the only radius that exists. You could have this radius or this radius or... I know I'm missing that, but I'm doing the best I can. And then this one or this one. You could even have this one. Now let's do that. That's better. Okay, so there's lots of radiuses, radii, that go from the center to the edge of the circle. 
But the unique thing about the radius is that it's always the same distance. So this distance, if I had drawn that better, is the same as this one, 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 is the same as that one. And if we can understand how to use circles, we can, uh, we can actually get to all of our objectives that way, okay? Now, the thing about these tools is uh, they're pretty math nerdy. So if you knew a math nerd and wanted to make their day, you could give them a compass and uh, it'd be like Christmas all over again. Same with the uh, protractor. Uh, in fact, back in the day, there was a guy called Archimedes in ancient Greece. And this dude loved his circles. He, lo he liked drawing circles. He loved them so much. But uh, Archimedes was also good at making war machines that were very efficient at killing people. So Archimedes was kind of like a, a war mastermind because he could kill people very easily with his war machines. And the Greeks liked that because they were at war. Well, they were at war with the Romans, and the Romans actually ended up taking them over. But they knew about Archimedes and his efficiency in killing people with machines. So when they invaded... Greece, or wherever the crap Archimedes was, uh, they were like, hey, let's save this guy so that he can make war machines for us and that we can kill people very efficiently as well. Because the Romans like killing people. And uh, Archimedes, of course, being a math nerd that he was, was drawing circles when the Roman soldiers came into his place. Now, if you've ever seen a math nerd get mad, that's probably about what it looked like, but he was very angry that these Roman soldiers were disturbing his drawing of circles. And so he said some mean things to them. And he said, don't disturb me while I'm drawing my circles, you scumbags. Leave me alone. And Roman soldiers didn't like that at all. So they knifed him in the back, and that was the end of Archimedes. All right, we're going to use a compass and straight edge to copy this segment, PQ, line segment. Now it's called a segment because it doesn't have arrows on either side, meaning it just has two endpoints. It's just a small segment of a line. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this segment and copy it uh, with point P prime right here. Now it's called P prime because we're going to we're going to move this right. Now it doesn't have to be in the same angle either. So when you draw these on the assignment, what you're going to do is you're going to create a circle with the center at point P right there. So this is what I have right here. Now on the assignment, all you gotta do, you would click on this point P and then just drag the line over. You're gonna, you're gonna select compass, click on point P and then drag the line over and then it'll create this circle for you just like I have right there. Now the circle that you have on the assignment is just a dotted or dashed line, the circle is, but it's gonna still show these two points like this, okay? So clicking and dragging will create this circle for you. Now, before you draw any lines, what you're going to do is you're going to take the circle with these two points and we're going to drag it down here. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this point, just drag it right here. Now, I have this point. What you're going to have to do on the assignment is you're going to click and just kind of drag around here and it's going to create an arc for you. You can do the whole circle if you'd like, like I have right here, but... Um, uh, on the computer, all you need to do is just a little bit of a line right there. Now what we've done is we've created a circle with a radius, and the radius from the center to the edge, any edge, is the same length. We don't need this to be the same angle inside the circle that you've moved over here. So once you've drawn uh, an, an arc or a part of the circle, all you gotta do is connect a line from the center to the edge like this. So this one, again, it's pretty close to the ang same angle as this one. But on the computer, when you draw this, so you're going to have to click on Segment. And then you're going to have to click and drag. You'll click from point P prime just to the edge of the circle somewhere. And then once you do that, you, sub you can submit your answer. That that's all I'm going to do right here. All right, so this one, we're going to use a compass and straight edge to make this angle. But instead of it being point A, we're going to have the vertex at point A prime right there. So just to start out, what I'm going to do is create a um, array. So on the, si on the assignment, I would click on ray, and then I would make a ray from A prime just coming out. It doesn't matter which direction, 
fact, this one, I'll, I'll just kind of try to emphasize it. So we'll make it look like this. And of course, when you do that on the assignment, it would have an arrow at the end like this. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a circle that, that's going to go through these two rays up here from the original angle. And uh, it'll be at a center at point A. So I'm going to create a circle here. And then I'm going to move that circle. I'll, I'll draw the line that goes through these two. And I'm, going to, I'm just going to move it down here. Okay. So here's what that looks like. So on the assignment, what you would do is you'd click on A right here. On, this is on the original angle. And just drag it out until you have a circle that is definitely going through both of these rays. Now, if you drag it too far out, you may have to extend this line yourself, which we don't want to do. It's just a little extra work. So I'm just going to click on A, drag this out right here, and then I get this, this circle right there. Okay, now I need to see the two points where this circle goes through these, these two separate rays right there. So I, on the assignment, it would just, if you just click and drag around the circle like this, I mean, you can make the full circle if you'd like, but I need to see the arc that goes through both of these. So this is what I get since I'm doing it by hand. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this circle, this purple circle, I'm gonna move it over here with a center at A prime right there. Now, since I'm doing this by hand, it may not look so fancy, but I'm just kind of eyeballing that right there, okay? So that's what I got. And then the assignment would have created these two points for us over here. We're gonna need those. But over here, I've gotta draw enough of the arc to at least match this, this, um, this part of the circle that we drew over here. So let's see if I can do that. So again, over here on the, on the assignment, you just click and just drag around the circle. If you want the full thing, or you just click here and then kind of drag that line over here and it'll do it for you. I did it by hand, so mine's a little bit more ugly than yours. Well, what I have at this point is I've got this red ray coming out of point A prime, and I've got this arc, which is the same arc from the circle back here, which is gonna create, I'm gonna say that's my orange point right there, okay? So I need some other ray coming out of this going in this direction. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, now is I'm gonna, I, and I'll make this point purple, just like this one, so I, I kinda have matching points, right? At least color-coded. Like, let's do that with A prime, we'll make that red. So, what I'm gonna do now, let, let's get rid of this purple circle right there, just so we don't get it confused. And what I need now is a circle with a center at this point, but with a radius that goes from this center to the purple point right there. So this is what I got. And again, I'm just eyeballing this. On the assignment, you're going to have to click up here on compass, and then you're going to have to click on this point and then just drag it out, and it will make a circle automatically that goes exactly with the center at this orange point for me and then through this purple point right here for me as well. Okay? But now that I have the circle, I need to take it and drag it down here so that its center is at this orange point too. All right, I almost forgot this, but what I'm gonna need now is gonna need a second arc that goes at least through this point right here. So I'm gonna show that. I would draw that, uh, again, I'm doing this by hand, so it's hopefully not as good as what you have on the assignment. But that's, that's what I would have from that red arc, okay? Now that, that's going around that purple circle. What I'm gonna do now is take this purple circle that I have and I'm gonna try to line it up with this orange point right there, right? And then what I need is I need to draw part of my arc here and you'll need to do this on the assignment so that it goes through the green arc right there. So if I do that, this is what I get. Now again, is that perfect? It is not, but what it will do on the assignment for you is it will create a point right there. So on the assignment, what will happen now is we need to make a ray going from A prime to this purple point right there. So up here at the top, you would click on ray and that'll get rid of the circle, unless you've drawn the whole thing, which you can do on the assignment, right? But all I need now is a line that goes from my A prime point through that purple point. That's it. Okay, so when I I would you'd click on ray and then it's gonna create a ray like this for you, and it'll it'll automatically have the arrow at the end. And uh, now mine may not look exactly the same because I was not actually using a compass and straight edge. 
and the technology on my iPad isn't perfect. But on the assignment for you, if you'll just click and drag these, then it'll make these very, it'll look much better. So this angle right here, I've now copied it with just circles and straight lines down here. So compasses will make circles, straight edge for your straight lines. Now to kind of finish explaining what happens here is what we did is we created a circle with a radius. So the purple and the orange point right there have, are the same distance away from A. So we have this purple and orange point. So you have a circle with these two radius or radii. Then we just, we just pretty much copy that down here. Now, um, the circle, right? We could copy the circle part that will actually go through the two ending rays. And then what we do is we draw a circle that goes, which has a radius from this orange point to the purple point. Now what that does is it makes it so that we have an, a, a distance away from this, this orange point. But we already have a distance from the red point. So it's kind of like a triangulation thing right here. It, it's, it's not a triangle, but it kind of creates a triangle thing for us. And so if we, if we take the circle from this center to this radius and just copy it down here, then all we've got to do is see where the two, two circles that we, we've drawn intersect down here, which is exactly what we did. Because this distance from, from the distance of this center to this end is the same radius as the red circle. And we've already drawn the same distance from A prime to this orange point with this green circle. So we have the green circle, red circle, and then the intersection is where, where we have essentially this ray, but down here is this blue ray. This one we're gonna use a compass and straight edge to bisect angle A. So this is angle A for us. Your final answer should be exactly one blue ray. So when we finish this, we're gonna make this one blue ray. When it says to bisect up here, it means we're gonna cut it in half. Now the next thing I need is a circle from uh, with the center at A right there. I just needed the circle to go through these two rays. If you if you extend it too far, then it'll be it'll be a little bit of extra work, which is fine. But I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to take a circle and extend it so that uh, I'm going to I'm going to make mine as big as I can here, just to emphasize the circle part of this. Okay. So once I get that circle on here, I need the two intersecting points between the two rays. So let's get that circle drawn. Now, the next thing is, is my circle perfect? It is not perfect, but it's good enough. So, uh, what you would do on the assignment is you'd, uh, now you can draw the whole circle, right? You just click and drag all the way around and it will draw the full circle. I'm not going to use the full circle just because I don't need it. Plus, it, it's a lot more work than I probably can do on this iPad. Okay, so I'm going to draw, um, I'm going to draw around the circle. Okay, now I'm just going to go through the, the parts that go through the ray. Here we go. All right, there they are. Now, what I need is to see the points that these red lines I've just drawn go, go through the, the rays that are already drawn for me. So I would have this point right here, and then I would have this point over here as well. So what I need now is another circle. So up here at the top, you, uh, we need another compass, so you're going to click on the button just to the right, which says segment, and you're going to click back on compass. Now what that will do is it will get rid of this circle for you, and then you're just left with the line that you drew, which if you drew on the whole circle, you can still see it, but I need to see these points at least. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now create another circle centered through the purple point, but it needs to have a radius through this A right here. Now again, if if I had, if I drew another circle with the center at A, with this, uh, with the outside going through this purple point with the same radius, it, it would just be the same circle. That's not what I want. I want a circle going from a center at this red purple point going through this red point. So let's see if I can do that. So this is about what I get. So I'm gonna I'm gonna draw kind of around this purple circle right here. See if I can do this decently. All right, so that's what I drew right there. Okay, so that's all I need. And again, if you're on the, on the assignment, if you want to draw the whole thing, you could. And you could you could even find the intersections through this red circle. That's not what I want. Do not want the intersections through this red circle. So 
What we need now is another circle, but with the center at this green point and then the edge going through the A. So we need a radius here. It'll be the same radius as this one, which is okay. Now again, this is what I get, and I'm just eyeballing this, but on the assignment, all you do is click on the center and then drag it to this red point right here. So I have that green circle, and you can see um, what we got here is I, I have it going through this point A. I've got this radius, but it, it arcs and then comes back into this purple line. That's the point that I need. That point between the A point and that point, the intersection of the green and purple circles, that is going to, that's where I'm going to draw the ray that will bisect or split in half this angle right here. So that's the line that I've drawn. Now at the top again, you'll have to click on segment. Well, actually, you'll, you'll just move one over and click on ray because that's all we need. Now when you do that, of course, this green circle here is going to go away. But what it will do is it's going to create a point of intersection between, for me, what is the purple and the green circles. All I need is the ray that goes from the red point through that blue point. And again, you've clicked ray, so it will automatically show that arrow. But now that I have that, it has bisected or cut in half this original angle. Now, the ones that you get on the assignment, it may be, you know, kind of a more of an acute angle. Maybe it could even be right. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. The process here is going to be the same. Create a circle with the center at this, at this point. Draw your lines so you can see where that circle goes through the two rays. Then you make a circle from this point to the center or, or the original vertex. And then you draw this. You'll want to make this arc fairly long because I don't know where it's going to intersect. And then you can do the same thing from this green point. Make a circle from the green point to the original vertex creating this circle. What you want is the intersection of these two because they're the same distance away from these centers, the green and purple points. They're the same distance away from the red point. But uh, by drawing the two circles with centers at these, we've created, we've created the same distance from, uh, for me, what's purple to blue and green to blue. So same distance, same distance. If you connect those two, you've cut that in half. All right, on this one, we're going to use a compass and straight edge to construct a line through point A that is perpendicular. That means it'll be 90 degrees to the line shown. So it's going to create a right angle with perpendicular. And we'll be sure to make our final answer to be exactly one blue line, meaning it should have arrows on both ends. That's what a line is. So to start us off, what I would like is a circle from uh, starting with this point A. And I've got to make it big enough so it goes through two points on this line that's already drawn for us. Now I'm gonna use this one. Now for you, of course, you just you'd click on compass up here at the top. You'd start with point A and then click and drag any circle that, again, we just needed to go through this original line like this. So on the assignment for me, what I did is I clicked on point A and then I just kind of dragged it diagonally specifically. I don't wanna make it so that the edge is right on there. I've got to make sure it's go through the two points. So I get something like this. And what I need now is the two points here and here that the circle is going around, uh, going through that, that line for me. So that would create these two points. I'm going to make this one purple. I'm going to make this one green. And that's going to be on purpose. So what, what I have here now is I've got two points that are the same distance away from point A. And really what I need to do is just cut that in half in order to make a line that, that's going to, it, it's going to bisect this angle, which is going to create directly a 90 degree angle with this line that's already drawn. So when you do that on the assignment, of course, that means you're going to have to kind of draw this, this part of the circle. You only need these two parts. Uh, again, if you want to draw the full circle, that's up to you. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to keep these. I just want to see where the red circle goes through the original line. So what we need now is two circles, just like we did on that last problem. I'm going to create a circle here with the center at the purple, but it's going to go have an edge at the green, so it should go through the point A right there as well. I'm going to do the same thing with green, creating a circle with the center at green, going through the purple point, but it should also go through point A as well. And what that's going to do is um, it's, going to, it's going to give me two points. One should be over here, which is going to be exactly 
If I connect point A with that point, it's going to create a 90 degree angle there. So at the top for you, again, click segment and then click line or, or sorry, compass. Click segment, click compass, and then you'll create a new circle. I'm going to start with the purple one. Okay, so again, you just click on this purple point, you click and drag over here, and you can see I've now got the same circle going through points A and this green green point over here. So I'm going to, I'm going to draw the arc. I, I'm going to make this a full half circle right here just to make sure I have as much of the circle as I would need. Um, again, I'm, I'm looking to make this a 90 degree angle, so I'm expecting something over here. All right, so this is what I've drawn, and uh, what I'm going to do again is I'm going to, I'm going to Right, I've got the circle here. What you're going to do is you're going to click on segment because we need another circle going from this green point out to the purple and then it should extend to the original point A right there. So once you do that you're going to click on the green point and then drag it out to the purple point. You should end up with something like this. Again the purple one's going to disappear. You have a new green circle like this. All right, so from here again, I just I want to draw a circle. I needed to I need to make sure it goes through this point right here. I don't really care that it goes through the purple and then the original point. It's true that it does, but the only one that I need is down here. So I'm just gonna again I'm gonna draw this part of the circle. Uh, some of you may be like, you know what, I'd I'd like to draw more of it, and that's fine if you do. But now what I need is a ray that goes from this point A through this other side right here. So now again, this on the assignment that'll create. A, point right there. Once you draw this part of the arc, I don't really need the full circle there. What I need now is the final, uh, not ray, but line. So I'm going to click on line up here at the top and we can draw a line from A through this orange point there. Which again, once I do that, it's going to get rid of the green circle. And now I'm ready to draw my line. So once you do that, what will happen is it'll um, create a line between these two like this, but on the assignment, of course, it'll automatically add the arrows, showing that it is, in fact, a line. But now what, what that has done, again, is it's created a 90 degree angle, making it perp perpendicular with the orig original line right there. It won't show this 90 degree angle mark, but I'm showing it just to show that it will. Because what we did with this orange point, what this orange point does is it takes these two points as an angle. Um, over here, it bisects it, but we can see the it's kind of like a mirror image, right? We've mirrored this point over here, and so by connecting the two, it creates a 90 degree angle with this. This would be a line of reflection right there. So that's it. That's it for this one. Now we'll use a compass and straightish to create a line through point A. So there's our point A, but perpendicular to this black line right here. So just like the last problem, perpendicular does mean it's going to create a 90 degree angle with that line that's given. But unlike the last problem, point A was somewhere out here, right? Now it's actually going to be exactly on the line. So to get us started, what I need is, uh, at the top, I'm going to need a circle. So at the top, you'd click on compass. And then I just need a circle with the center at point A. Uh, but, it, but I need to see where it goes through, uh, two points where it goes through this line that's given, okay? So you're, you're just going to click on point A and then just kind of drag it along the line somewhere. I, I like to keep it fairly close right here, especially since I don't have much space down here, and that's okay. So here's what mine looks like. Now, as usual, I'm, I'm just eyeballing this. So mine isn't perfect. Yours should look really good on the computer when you do this. But again, you, this will only be dashed right there, so I've got to draw the parts of the circle that go through the line that was given already. All right, so I, I have these two, and again, it will create two points for you on the assignment here and here as well. Okay, so I have that. I need another circle. So again, you're going to push on segment and then push on compass again. And that at least is going to get rid of the circle. So you can see the, the parts of the line that you drew here. If you drew the full circle, that's okay too. So what I need now is a circle that extends from this purple point to the green point right there, which is going to be a radius. So if you're thinking that was going to be the red circle again, now the center is at this purple point and I'm going to extend it to the green point right there. So for you, once again, you'd click on compass, you click on the purple point, just drag it out to the green point there for me. Now think about this, I'm expecting a perpendicular line through this red point, so I'm expecting something like this. So I just need to draw this part of the purple circle. Again, you could draw just the half, if you want to draw the whole thing, that's up to you, but this is what I get for me. 
right? Is that perfect? It is not, but it would be on your assignment like, like that, okay? So what I need now is to make a circle with the center at the green point and with the radius going out to this purple point. So again, I would expect kind of the same circle that I have right there, but now it's, it's down to the green point right here. So this is what I get. And again, once you push segment, it'll get rid of the circle. You're going to push compass again. So this is the line that I have. And again, once you click on that, the, the rest of that purple circle went away, but I have this green one. And I just need the point that goes through one of these, I, I, one of these, uh, the point that intersects on the green circle with the purple one. I only need one of them, but you can draw both if you'd like. In fact, I, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So that's all I need from that circle, right? From the green circle, I just need these. I only needed one, but I did both. Uh, and then it'll create these two points for you, this one and this one. You see, it, it really lines up pretty well with this A. Now, again, mine may not be exactly perfect, but what we're going to do is click on line over here at the top, and then um, that'll get rid of that green circle for us like this. And then I just need a line that extends. Again, if you just click on point A and to one of the orange points, that's fine. You can click on the two orange points, and you'll see it just goes through A automatically. It's going to be automatic. And so now I'm ready to draw that blue line. And on the side, again, it'll have arrows on the end for you. But once again, it will automatically create a right angle for us. Because what we did is we took two points the same distance away from the center. And then um, we, connect, we connected the end points there, making a new circle. That was the purple one. And pretty much the green one, it's, it's, it's actually the exact same circle as the purple one, just it's been moved down here. But you can see where they intersect is also the same. The distance from the green point to the orange point is the same distance from the purple to orange. And again, it, it, it cuts the distance between these in half, or this angle, it, it's like it's cut in half if you draw a line from this orange point to the black point, and then back to the orange point. So this, this one is cut in half, and this one is... And so, you know, if you wanted to draw the angle just to see what it looks like, that's that kind of looks like. If I drawn that better, it would look like it cuts that in half a little bit better. But again, if you did it to the other side as well, we get this kind of this kind of thing going on. And so, the black line cuts this angle in half, and then the blue line cuts this angle in half, kind of thing. So we're really using the skills that we saw in some of the other problems again, and that's just essentially cutting angles in half. Which it, it did say, it did call that bisecting the angle, but cutting it in half, it's the same thing. Let's use a compass and straight edge to construct a line through point A that is parallel to the line shown. And again, we'll make that exactly one blue line. So I, I see this line, the parallel line should be something like this right here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a ray that goes from point A, and it's just got to go through this, this other line right here. It doesn't really matter what angle you put it at. So up at the top, you'll put you'll push ray and then extend a ray from point A to this this black line right here that's already given for us. All right, so this is the ray that I have, and that will create a new point for us right here, point of intersection between the black line and the ray that we just drew. What I'm going to do next, I'm just going to draw a circle of any size with the center at this red point, and again by any size, um, you know I don't want to extend this past this black line that's already drawn for us because that's going to make things more complicated. So this is what I got when I drew that circle. So what you're going to do is you're going to push on compass, you're going to click on this point of intersection, then just drag it. Yours may be in a different spot because you may have chosen a different point, but this is the this is the red line, the red circle that I have. And again, when you put this on the assignment, it's going to be dashed. Now, I don't really care so much about over here what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to draw the circle over here. Now you can draw the full circle if you want, but again with the center of the red point, I'm going to get this part. I'm going to kind of copy the angle right here. What I'd like to do is copy that angle over here. We're going to show you how to do that, even though we've shown you how to copy an angle already. So this is what I get right there. Again, I've drawn this red part of the circle right there, so I can see this angle right here. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to kind of copy it up here. Now what that does is it gives us two more intersecting points. We get this one right here, and we get this one right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this circle, 
And again, you're not gonna create a new circle. All you're gonna do is take this one, you're gonna click on the center and just drag it up here to point A. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just clicking and dragging it up here. And then this part of the circle that I've just drawn right there, since I'm, I'm expecting to duplicate this angle up here, I need that at least that much of the circle. So for me, that looks something like this. Again, for you, all you have to do is just kind of drag and click and drag this part of the circle. Some students like to do the whole thing, and that's okay. So what I need now is another circle, but not the red one. So you're going to click up here on segment or any of the other, these other buttons, and then you're going to click on compass once again. That will get rid of that red circle for us. Now what I need is to, because what I have done is I've, I've kind of taken this part of the circle and copied it up here. And what I get is kind of a corresponding green point right there. So it's kind of like we just translated that. What I'm missing is the purple point. So I'm going to have to use the green point now to get this purple point. I'm going to create a circle with the center of the green that goes through the purple point right there. So I'm going to go with this. Now again, once you push on compass, you click on the green point, and drag it to the purple point that I have right there. Yours won't be color-coded, and it'll create this dashed line. Now, you don't really need this part of the line, but I'm going to draw it anyways. You can get this part of the line right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this circle, this green circle that I've just drawn, and then move the center to the green center that's up here. What it's going to do is it's going to create an intersection with this red line, just like we have over here. And that's where I'm going to put the new purple point. Once, once I get that connected, A corresponds with this red point right there, so we can, again, we can kind of color code those. But once I get the purple point up here, it'll give me, it's kind of like taking this angle and duplicating it up here, which will make a line that's parallel to the black one. All right, so here we go. This is what it would look like for you again. Just moving, moving it up here. And once again, I'm not really expecting it to intersect with the red point just because it didn't down here either. It could, by the way, just isn't for me. And then I can draw that part of the circle that, again, I just need the part that goes through the red line right there. So that's all I need. Now, when I click on the um, segment up here, that's what I would click on. It would get rid of the circle. Then I have this. And all I need then is the intersection between the red and green, which gives me this purple. So you can see all we did is we took this triangulation here and then copied it up here. And what that has done is it has now created a situation where I can just connect the red and purple points, creating a new line. So when I get my, um, my blue line right there, you will have the arrows on the end. When you, you just got to click on these two points, and it'll draw the full, full line for you with the arrows at the end. But this blue line is now parallel. Now, it may not even look parallel, um, but it will be no matter what. Just Mine may not look par parallel because my drawing is not perfect because of the way that I draw my circles on the iPad. But these are good. So now let's take a compass and straight edge and construct an inscribed rectangular hex hexagon in circle A. Hexagon, just so we understand, is a six-sided shape. And the word regular means that all the side lengths are the same length. All right, so what we're going to do, and this is uh, fairly easy for us, so we're going to take we're going to take any point on the edge of this circle that's already drawn for us. And we're going to make a, another circle that has a radius going to point A right here. Okay, so it has to go through the center of the circle that's already there, which pretty much we're just taking, we're taking the same circle, and we're, ju we're just going to find a point to um, put right here in the middle. Uh, just anywhere on, on the circle. I'm, I'm going to put mine up here. Okay, so this is what I got. A and again, you just click anywhere on the circle here and then just drag it over, and we'll create the circle for you. Now, I don't really need where this goes through the center, because I know the circle already does. What I need is where this line goes through the edge of the circle that's already drawn. So right there, and then right here as well. Okay, the rest of the circle I don't really need, but what I see now is it's, it has now created two other points. One, two other points for us to use, and all I'm going to do is draw another circle from these points out into the um, center as well. Okay, so I'm going to go, from the, I'm going to, go for, to the green one. I'm going to click there and drag it to the center of the circle that's already drawn. Now what you'll see is that the, this circle that's drawn also goes through the red point. That's on purpose because the distance from the center to the red point is the same distance as the center to the green point. 
distance k, so that means that these are also the same distance away, which is going to give us one of the side lengths of the hexagon. But now, that creates a new intersection over here for me, and I'm, I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm going to take this circle here, redraw it, and you can see that green circle that goes through the red up here, and it goes through the orange down here. That's, that's decent for me. But now I'm going to take the circle, and I'm going to draw a circle from this. Again, you can, you can take it and then drag it to the green or the center of this circle. It's not going to matter. It's going to give you the same circle. So that's this circle for me. And again, I can see that that circle goes through the green point over here. It goes through the center, but it also goes through this point over here as well. Okay, so I'm going to make that point. I'm going to color it blue. And then I'm going to take the circle. I'm going to redraw it from this center of blue into the center of the original circle where you can draw it to the orange point there as well. So that's going to create this situation. So again, that, that blue line, that blue circle goes through the orange point there and then it goes through this point up here like this. Now I don't really need any other, other points and, and I'll make this intersection green, uh, sorry, black. But what would happen is if you were to take this circle and then put it on top of the, uh, put it at the center, make the circle at the center of the purple, then you'd end up with a circle that goes through the center and then this edge point right there. Now we don't need that circle, but you can see not only does it go through the center, but it goes through the black point that I've already drawn and then the red point over here. So I'm gonna emphasize the points that I've already drawn. And uh, you know what, I, I will go and draw that. So right, we'd have this purple there and there. But let's get rid of that circle now. So there we go. All right. So what we have now are one, two, three, four, five, six points to create to create a hexagon inscribed inside the circle right here. So uh, let's go ahead and connect those points. I'm going to use um, I'll use it says six blue segments, right? But let's just stick with that. What it says on the assignment doesn't matter where you start, but you're just going to connect the outside edges, corners rather, to create the edges. And now if I draw this a little bit better, then it, well, it would look better. But, you know, something like this. This is a hexagon, six-sided shape, and then all the side lengths are exactly the same. So that's all you got to do. Uh, notice that to create it, all we did was create, uh, use the compass. The straight edge is really just to make the lines at the end, but that's it. Now, if you were to think about this, what you would do if you wanted to make, let's say, um, a 12-sided shape, right? Well, then you would, you'd, you'd find a way to cut these lengths in half, which you can do, right? You can take this angle right here. You can cut it in half by uh, creating circles that way. And then you'd, you'd bisect that. And then wherever that line goes through this circle, you'd have extra points there. So you can cut these in half in order to do that. I think later on we're going to do a square, but that's a, at least how you would start with a hexagon. It's probably the easiest shape to inscribe inside a circle. All right, we're going to use a compass and straight edge to construct an equilateral triangle in which AB is one side. Right now, that sure should be exactly three blue line segments, including the one already drawn. So make sure you do that up here. You'll just click on segment in order to draw the shape. But first, as we've seen, we're going to be using a lot of circles here. Well, not a lot, but a couple circles in order to make this triangle. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make a circle with the center at A, but it's got to be a radius that goes through B as well. So the circle will have a center of A, but it'll, it'll be around, going around A, but through B. All right, so this is a circle that I get right here. Again, I'm, I'm expecting, I'm going to put the triangle over here in this area. Some students may choose to put it over here. It doesn't matter. But uh, I'm going to get my equilateral triangle. I'm going to connect A to be like this, but I'm going to draw this part of the circle right there. So almost even a quarter circle, just to make sure I can get the triangle in there. Okay, so that's what I've drawn again for you. you just click and drag there, even to make the circle, click and drag. Uh, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle with the center at B now. That should go through point A, but what that's going to do is it's going to give me the same radius, but it's going to give me the same distance once I see the, where it connects over here. So I'm going to get a circle like this. Once I see where it connects over here, it'll be the same distance from A to B, from B to A, as it would be from B to this new point over here. 
So that's the circle I've drawn. Again, I just need where this purple circle connects with this red uh, part of the circle that I've already drawn. Now you can draw as much of the purple circle as you want, but all I need now is to see that intersecting point right there between the purple and red circles. So again, you can see B is the same distance to A as it is to this new green point right there. So we, we, we already have this, this line right here that was drawn for us. Now we just got to click line segment up here. It wants a line segment and we're going to make them blue. That'll get rid of the purple circle for us and now we're ready to draw our blue lines. So from B to that green point like that and then A to the green point as well. And what we've created is an equilateral triangle, same exact distance using circles. And that's it. Now I'm going to qualify this once again. My lines may not look like they're that exactly the same because I'm not using the same technology as you guys. But when you do this on the assignment, the process is the same. Your triangles will look much better than mine. All right, for this last one, we're going to use a compass and straight edge to construct an inscribed square in circle A. So we already did a hexagon, right? That was just six-sided shape. Now we need four-sided shape instead. So we can use some of the same points that we did for the hexagon, but uh, what we're going to do is cut some of those in half, and then we can connect them with other points in order to make the square. And yeah, we'll make the final parts of it blue line segments. All right, so what I need is a circle from any, any point on the circle that's already there. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and put it, uh, I'll put it right here, okay? Uh, but I need, I need a circle with the center of this red point for me. And again, it doesn't matter where you put it, but mine's at the red point, and it's going to go through the, the center of um, our original circle, so point A. All right, so here's what I get, and just to give myself more options, uh, again, I don't need a trace inside the circle here, but what I need is stuff on the outside now and, and on the edge of the original circle too. So I'm going I'm to trace at least this much of the circle. Okay, so that's what I got. And again, is mine so good? No, but um, hopefully yours is better. And if you're using an actual compass, then again, hopefully yours would look a lot better than mine does. But what that's going to do is it's going to create two two points here. This one purple and this one in green and uh, again I'm just gonna go around the circle and and I'm gonna make you know I'll, I'll go counterclockwise here so I'm gonna make another circle with the center at the green point here um, but again it, it should be a circle that goes through the center but should also then go through this red point too okay so this is what I got and again I, I'm gonna I'm gonna circumscribe the circle here uh, at least this part. I don't really need inside the circle. I, I mean, it looks cool if you do, but I'm just not going to do it just because it's a little extra work. And uh, you can see my drawings aren't so great. All right, so there's that that circle. And I'll make the next one orange, and this, this next point right there. And again, I'm, I'm working my way counterclockwise around the circle. Now, what you'll notice in addition to that is it also created this point of intersection there as well. Now the reason I have that is it, it this this angle right here it's going to cut that in half, and some of these points are going we're going to use some of the points although we don't need all of them later on. But let's let's continue with the circles. So again, I'm going to draw a circle with the center of the orange, but it needs to go through the center of the original circle, which means it should go through the green point there as well. So this is what I got. Again, I'm going to I'm going to trace that circle, except on the inside of the original circle. So this is what I get. All right, there's that. Now again, that's gonna create another intersecting point on the outside there of the original circle, but it also creates a new intersection over here for us. I'm kind of out of colors. Let's see what I can do. Okay, so without having to use blue, it's kind of a turquoise green, which is a little bit different than that one, okay? So once again, I'm gonna draw another circle with the center of this lighter green color. It needs to go through the center, and so it should go through that orange point as well. So this is what I get. And again, I'm going to trace that circle, just the outer, the part that's on the outside of the original circle that was drawn for us. Okay, so again, is my circle so great? It is not, but it will work. And once again, we've created another intersection on the outside of the circle here. 
uh, but we already had the orange intersection there, and then we've created an even newer one uh, right here. So we'll make this one, uh, we'll make it, I guess this one's pink right there. Okay, so that should give me a new circle with the center of this pink point going through this point A. Now this one should go through both the purple and the green ones, this light green one here as well. Now again, is that perfect? It is not, but it should do uh, what we need it to do right there. So let's see, we get, um, I'm just looking to trace the outside of that circle from here. All right, and once again, we get these intersecting points. I got this one right here. Now, while we don't need anything more, really, uh, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a circle with this center, the purple point right there. Uh, um, going through the center of the original circle and then through the pink and red. Here, so it should have something like this. It, again, this is only just to give us more options. You don't really need this extra circle, but it's going to give us some options, and I'll show you what that means here in a second. All right, so this is what I get, and uh, let's go ahead and trace that circle just on the outside of the original. Okay, so I get something like this. Now, what we're going to need, right, we need to construct a square inside circle A with four blue lines. So when you click on segment, it's going to get rid of that original purple circle there. So it's going to look something like this, right? And once again, we see that on the outside between the purple and red circles, we have this blue intersection point, and then purple and pink gives us this intersection point right there. I'm not so concerned about the middle, and you can see the hexagon that we've already seen before, right? What I, what I would like to see here is, is kind of like a, a um, cross, okay? Because once I see that in there, I can see the 90 degree angles on, in the middle. So what you don't want to do here is you do, you do not want to simply just be like, you know what, I'm going to connect um, four points on the inside and then say that's a square. That's not a square. So you can't simply do that. Uh, what I need is uh, what, I'll, what I'm going to show is I like to see kind of a ray that um, that goes from, uh, again, I'm, I'm looking for kind of like a T across or um, 90 degree angle right in the middle. So I would connect, for me, I would connect these and then these points right here. See how that, that kind of creates a um, cross for us, right? And what that does as well is it gives us points of intersection on the inside of the circle. So um, I guess I'll use red. So I get this intersection point, this intersection point. We already had that light green one, and then this one here as well. Those red points will make a square if you connect them. So let's connect these just to show that it will make a square. I mean, it's, it's tilted, but that would make a square. Now, if you wanted to, you could have made a cross between these blue points and, uh, well, these blue points, and then it looks like probably these, the pink and green, and that would work too. In fact, let's show that. Now, again, I, I kind of look at it like this, although you don't necessarily have to. So, again, I would look um, to connect these blue points right there, and then the green and pink should make, again, that's a 90-degree cross right there in the middle. And uh, it gives me these, these points. We'll do these ones in blue. So this one and this one. And then we had the pink and we had the green. So once again, if you were to connect these as well, you would get a square. Again, it's slightly tilted, but it doesn't matter. So that's a couple examples. Uh, once again, I, I think if you, maybe if you had connected, um, I don't know, this point with this one and maybe these two, maybe you'd get, uh, a straight up square. So that may be something you want, would want to try to do. And does this look like a square the, that I have? Not necessarily, but it's pretty close. And on the assignment, your circles will be a lot more exact. So yours will look a lot more squarish when you get to the assignment. All right, that's all of our objectives for the day. I can copy line segments and angles with math tools. I can bisect angles, make perpendicular and parallel lines and shapes with math tools. And also I can inscribe regular shapes in circles with math tools. That's all we need.